Hey everybody, back again. Uh, today I'm going to do some uh, kind of cleaner Eric Johnson style playing um, with my uh, 57 reissue Fender Stratocaster through a uh, Dr. Z Maz 18 reverb with the settings like that on the amp. Okay, and for pedals I'm going to use my um, my uh, Delta Lab stereo chorus. It's running a mono into a uh, Line 6 stock Line 6 DL4 on the uh, Echoplex EP3 setting. I use the uh, EP3 because that's evidently what Eric Johnson likes to run in um, through his twin reverbs and um, the EP1 Echoplex is a little bit uh, more distorted and, and uh, tubey sounding so for a real clean pristine tone I like the uh, the EP3 so let's set this down here The amp has uh, got a fair amount of reverb dialed in. Um, it doesn't have near as much reverb as, like, say, a, you know, Fender Super or, or Twin, so that's why I have it pretty high. But okay, now I'm going to add the uh, Line Six with the Echoplex uh, simulator. It's not super, super spacey sounding, just a nice medium echo with a um, nice medium uh, feedback. So um, now I'm going to add a chorus to that, so I'll start without the chorus again. Same lick with the, uh, the chorus. But I just the, what I try to pick up in a style that I really like is how he you know can show all these complicated you know chord shapes and stretches and stuff. But he's really most of the time only playing you know parts of the chords. You very rarely like you see him like strumming all these chords. He just kind of finger picks and uh, you know hyper picks some of them. So you know a great example of that is one of my favorite you know progressions and tunes that he um, does off the uh, Trail of Tears on the Austin City Limits the live version and um, he's really just sliding around and moving you know like two or three notes at a time but in a real subtle, subtle context it sounds very cool and, and kind of more complicated than it really is so um, let me just kind of show you what I'm talking about here um. <laughs> Thank you. 
you know, the, the, just the sliding around of the, the you know, couple of notes and, you know, like the string skipped kind of octavey kind of sounding chords like that. So you have to figure out what key you're playing in, you know, if you're playing in, uh, like F. You just got to know where you go up and down the neck like. That's one aspect of his playing that I really uh, like to take into my own. So I hope uh, this was helpful. If you're chasing the kind of Eric Johnson clean town, the Fender will get you closer, but the Z does a pretty good job for kind of a low powered, uh, you know, non Fender amp. Uh, Stratocaster helps, you know, any Strat style of guitar, um, vintage if you can. The high output pickups and stuff is, you know, kind of a no no, but, um, you know, Maple Neck. Not really necessary, but you know, again, just kind of a brighter, cleaner sound. And like I said, he, you know, likes to use the the what I call the quack position on the uh, you know the fourth position. It says that kind of bell-like, you know, Mark Knopfler tone, and and the, uh, Eric also you know seems to like the neck pick. You know. 